Okay. Hi everyone. I'm Laurent Mignon from Axon and with uh, Thibaut from Accretion. So we are here to present you the last website we have developed for our Alcyon, our customer, on top of Shop Invader with a, a lot of new features and a, a different approach that the previous implementation already made for other customers. First of all, uh, our customer is Alcyon. Alcyon is the leading uh, B2B uh, wool seller for veterinarian products in uh, Belgium and Luxembourg. Their customers are veterinarians, uh, veterinary students, veterinary groups, and B2C companies specialize uh, in uh, products for animals. It's uh, located not far from here, uh, at about uh, 20 uh, kilometers. Uh, to give you a picture of the company size, Alcyon has an annual uh, turnover of approximately uh, 55 uh, uh, million euros uh, for a catalog of uh, 20,000 products. Since uh, Alcyon is a B2B seller, all the customer orders are passed via the website. And early 2021, it was decided to migrate the website from uh, Magento 1 and to replace it by a new one with the objective of, offer of offering uh, a more modern, scalable solution that will be easier integrated with the existing uh, ERP Odoo that we also developed in 19. So this challenge comes with a lot of constraints. The first one is the number of uh, sale orders that we have to process daily. We, today, we daily process about 1,000 sale orders. It's not very a large amount, and it's not really a, a problem for Odoo. But we also have to say that this website runs on top of Odoo 10. It's not the best version of Odoo in terms of, of performance. A second constraint is uh, the number of different price uh, for the products. Today we have about uh, 130 different price for the same product, and this price uh, depends on different factors. For example, the price will depend on the annual uh, amount of sales of the logality user, will depend also on uh, the supplier promotion uh, of the day, since the promotion are only uh, available for a certain period with a date start and date end. We also have a, a special discount uh, made by Alcyon for the logarithm users. So we have a lot of factors that, uh, 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 are take, that we have to take into account when we compute the price. We also have a very, very uh, um, important topic on the security uh, because this website is made for professionals. Uh, the information, the product seen by the, cust the customer and the attributes also seen by the customer depends on its profile. That means, for example, that a veterinarian uh, can see drugs product, but not a student. Uh, a guest user can only see uh, materials, but not the price. So that means that we have to, pr to put in place a security layer to be sure that according to the profile, the logging user will only see the appropriate information. One of the most challenging part of this uh, refactoring of this new website is the website availability. So we have to, the, the requirement is to have a 24 hours a day, seven days a week, available website without interruption, even if, if we deploy a new version of Odoo, even if we deploy a new version of the website. Why? Just because this website is the main tool for a lot of uh, veterinarian. For example, all the day he use the website to look for a product based on a substance, a, sub, a, a specific substance. Or he plays, a, a, he, he add product into the card according to the consumption he made when he has uh, some uh, uh, consultation, and so on. Um, in addition to all these requirements, 
we have a, a more technical one. It's that the replacement of the website has to be made prior to the migration from Odoo 10. And that means that <laughs> the migration should not introduce interest cost for the website. Uh, <laughs> <sorry. laughs> and uh, another one is also the complexity of the search query that uh, should be possible with the website. So depending of the fields that is, depending on the search term, the rule to match, to compute the match, will depend on the field where the, the rule is applied. For example, for a substance, we all have an exact match, or we don't allow uh, uh, auto-spell uh, uh, correction. But it's not the case for the description. And the weight into the result will also depend on the field that match the term. That means that we have very, very, very complex rule for computing the match and con for com uh, configuring the match according to the field. That means that all in the, with all these constraints, it becomes clear uh, wh when we finish the, the, the technical analysis that Odoo was not the best solution to implement this kind of website, even if Odoo is able to provide a lot of functionalities. So we decided, we decided to, to build a new website based on Shop Invader, but with a more modern front-end than the previous one we have already developed. Into this architecture, we have five main components. Five. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Simone. Odoo. Odoo is the main is the main component, is the is the is the master in this in this, uh, in, in this architecture. All the business logic is implemented in Odoo. All the management is done into Odoo. That means that Odoo provides all the uh, through a REST API, it provides the, the specialized REST service that, is, that are called by the website to implement the logic. But not enough. We also use Odoo to manage the catalog, and we also use uh, Odoo to manage the security from the account creation of, on the website to uh, the definition of the rules into the uh, search engine. All the security rules, etc., et are uh, created uh, and driven by Odoo. Since also our website has to be uh, available 24 a day and seven a day a week, uh, we decided to use an external system to manage the security, Keycloak. Keycloak is an application uh, specialized uh, to manage uh, user accounts. It's uh, based on the last uh, standard uh, uh, for security that allow you to uh, define uh, uh, security rules, uh, attributes, and so on, and to make this uh, security available across a, a different system, uh, thanks to uh, some standard like uh, GBT token and so on. Uh, last but not least, uh, Kiklo comes with a, a REST API also. That means that thanks to this REST API, we are able to manage the creation of the account from within Odoo, and to keep the information up to date with the account, that means some attributes that we export on the, uh, into the Keycloak system, like the, the, the roles, uh, the, lang, et the language, et etc. Uh, we have this API that allows you to put this information into uh, Keycloak, and at the same time, when we log into uh, Keycloak, a GBT token is issued by Keycloak, and this uh, token, uh, in addition to provide the security information, also provide some attribute information. It's a security and a, an attribute provider. And this, this attribute into the, the, the token are therefore shared between all the components of this architecture and ensure an end-to-end -end security across all the components. Another component is open search. Uh, it was planned firstly to use uh, Elasticsearch and, may, and more specifically uh, Elasticsearch Enterprise. 
Why uh, the enterprise version? Because we, just because we need uh, the security layer only available in Elasticsearch. Uh, this uh, security layer allows you to define a security rule at document level. So you provide a kind of domain to say for this rule, you can only see uh, this, this document if this matching rule uh, is, uh, is right. It's first thing. And we can also define security at field levels. That's, so you can list the, the, you can provide a list of fields that you can you see or you are not allowed to see. You have two choices, <laughs> not the both. You can say, in one case, I, I can see, I, I'm allowed to, to, to see this field, and in the other case, I'm not allowed to, to see this field. But that's the only constraint. But the problem with uh, Elasticsearch is that uh, Elasticsearch was not uh, able to uh, uh, manage the security uh, based on the GWT token. Uh, the security information has to be uh, provided by Elasticsearch itself. And uh, for this uh, limitation, we decided to go with uh, OpenSearch that also provide uh, the same security layer with uh, some different uh, way of, of uh, uh, defining the rules, but we define the same kind of rule into the OpenSearch that uh, in uh, Elasticsearch. For the images and the video, we use a S3 compatible uh, server uh, named uh, uh, Vino. The main advantage of this server is that you, it allows, it's designed to, to be uh, um, deployed in a redundant way. Uh, so it's very important. And the last component is the website itself. And for the website, we decided to, to use uh, a modern approach based on uh, Vue.js and uh, mainly on the Nux.js framework, but I let uh, Thibaut present you this part. Thank you, Laurent. So, um, as we can see, we have several components on uh, this stack, and these components are available on the front-end side. So our front-end application here, the Nux.js application, but you can use every front-end technology uh, that can connect through an API to, to the services. Here we choose to use Node.js because it's a modern approach uh, with uh, Vue.js uh, technology. Uh, we, you, we can do it uh, through uh, Angular, React, or whatever we, we want. So here, our web uh, application um, go to Kicklock to do the authentication. So we can uh, redirect directly to Kicklock to manage all authentication product, pro process and get user and role needed for all requests uh, in the rest of the, of the navigation. Our front-end application uh, use also uh, the search engine. The search engine is here uh, necessary to get all catalog uh, information like products, categories, and for search product and categories on, uh, on the catalog. So it used to render a product page to get the, to retrieve all data necessary to render a product page, and also as a search engine. We use also the CDN to get uh, media, uh, image and video, so like other websites. Odoo to, to get all uh, e-commerce interaction, uh, add a product to the cart, uh, get some statistics on products we will see during the demonstration, uh, process uh, to the, the checkout and all uh, e-commerce action needed uh, for our workshop. And here we choose to separate the uh, Run the render of the website and the CMS. The CMS here is uh, an headless CMS, so we can use uh, different headless CMS, like Strapi, for example, or Cotton Tool, or other headless CMS. And the render uh, is made directly uh, by the Nuxjs application through all connection to these different uh, parts of the stack. Small point here, we choose to use Nuxt.js to, to use a server-side generation. So we want in this uh, to, to, to have a, um, a good response time for this web shop. We decide to render, uh, to pre-render all uh, page of the website 
of public pages of the website. So we use a server-side generation, and these pages are uh, pre-catch and uh, ready for the, the navigation. So we can generate static HTML pages, and these static HTML pages use a JS layer to connect to the, the several, uh, the, the different parts of the architecture. In the architecture, so we have Odoo through the, the API. We have also the other parts, CMS and the search engine, and the click clock. So Odoo push product categories and rules to the search uh, engine because it's the, the layer to get, uh, to retrieve this uh, data. Finally, the web shop never uh, call Odoo to get the product or the categories. Uh, it's directly to the open search or elastic search. Elastic search. Odoo push user and roles uh, to Kicklock. And the interaction between Kicklock and open search uh, use a GWT uh, token, and this GWT token provide the roles and all user information needed to get custom data. For example, our customer have an access to a specific part of the catalog, to a specific product, and through this GWT uh, token, we can identify the role of the customer and get the different product available for uh, this uh, end user. It's exactly the same thing with Odoo. When we make a request to Odoo to add a product to the cart, we use the same token, the GWT token, to provide the, which user use the, the website and define the, the sale order and all the checkout process according to the user information. For the CMS, it's finally, it's another part, the CMS, uh, we can define the, the content directly on our CMS, like Strapi, for example, and the web apps uh, uh, retrieve all data to, to build pages with the content. So let's go to the demo. Well. So this is the uh, web shop uh, for Alcyon. So this web shop have, has a, a public uh, part. On this public part, we have several uh, products available, but some products are only for a uh, dedicated specific user. For example, if I search Bravecto product, I cannot see result because this product, it's, it's a drug only available for uh, specific groups. So I, uh, we can see that it's not available, and for other products, we have no information about prices or stocks or information. Uh, it's limited, some, the, the public information are really limited for uh, the name and some uh, attribute on the product. If I log into the web, the web shop, this is the uh, Kicklock uh, interface uh, customized for the web shop. So here we, are, uh, we have a redi redirection to Kicklock. So at this moment, voila. <laughs> at this moment, we have a GWT token, and this token is used for all requests to uh, OpenSearch, Odoo, and uh, Kicklock. And at this moment, if I search some product like Bravecto, we can see it's available for my customer, and I can have an access to this product, and I can search through active principle because some vets want to search, uh, want to have complex search, for example, search only the active principle to get some products or search only specific attribute of the product uh, because there are plenty of products with the same uh, active principle. This is <laughs> better. So this is a, a product page. Here, all information are only available for my pro, for my groups for my uh, customer. 
my user. Uh, I can have specific prices dedicated to my uh, groups. So these information are uh, delivered according to my GWT token, as we already discussed. And I can, I can add my product to the cart. The cart is retrieved when, uh, after the, the customer login. And when we add the product to the cart, it's asynchronous because we made a, a stack of all call uh, when the customer add a product or change the quantity or remove the product. And this information is sent when Odoo is available. It allows that you can continue to feed the cart uh, even if Odoo uh, is down. In this case, we can see that this product is available on the product uh, results. If we can have the product results. We can see the, the, the different in interaction. It's a reason why we, use, we choose to, to use a, a Vue.js application is to have many interaction for the, the customer because a customer can feed the cart during all the day and validate at the end of the day. Uh, the day. So the, the concept is to have uh, a really uh, an interface really uh, easy to use and uh, really easy to, to feed the cart and, and add the product uh, to the cart uh, in, during the day. Uh, so in this project, we don't have a, a payment system, but we can add a, a payment system when it's necessary. Here, it's a B2B with a specific condition, so it's not uh, need, required by the cost by Alcyon. So each time I made a modification on my cards, we uh, stack all uh, the, the requests, and we made uh, a request to do to get prices, total, and different uh, e-commerce uh, cart uh, information. It's exactly the same thing when I process to the checkouts. Odoo is also used here to have some information, like the information available in the dashboard, because for uh, different reasons, Alcyon wants to provide different information to, uh, the, to the customers. So here, uh, Odoo is used to provide different statistics, for example, or uh, a list of favorite items. So it's not limited to the cart. We can interact with different uh, objects in uh, the, the API to, to provide a, a better user experience. So. To look uh, just a little bit uh, deeper into the security, though, therefore, though the security, the main part of the security is the GWT token. A GWT token has a payload with a lot of information. Here we can see into this payload that we have uh, most, the most important one here is, oh, is the Shop Invader VT rule. That's the list of rules that are applied to the logged in user. In this case, this, we can see that we have a, uh, the default rule, guest. The guest is the, the rule applied to all logged in user and not logged user. Admit user also ha have the default rule guest users. And we have a, a rule by a, a price list. How it works? Oh, from where come this information? This information come mainly from the uh, contact page. So you can see that we have the Alcyon partner category, the shareholder, and we see that the shareholder is also a role. That you can see also that we have a lot of different price lists on, the, on this uh, contact, and you can see that for each price, price list, we have a role into the list of the role. The role definition into uh, open search. Here is the role for the guest users. And you can see that for the guest users, we have a document level security rule that say, we can see 
we are allow allowed to see all the products where we have the allowed partner types attribute with guest into the list of, of uh, values. And we also have a field level security declared here that say, here it is, all the fields that I, uh, I'm allowed to see into the product information. For the shareholder role, role are cumulative. So I'm guest, but I, I'm also a shareholder in this case. And for the shareholder, I have a document level security uh, a rule, and an additional rule that say, I also allow to see all the products with the partner types shareholders. And I have also a new uh, field information that I can see is the stock information. And for the price list, for the role for the price list, in this case, I have the price list uh, uh, gross price uh, one. Uh, I have a field level security that gives me that gives me access to all the uh, price information related to this price list. And that does not least, since everything comes from Odoo, you can see here that on the product information, on the product model, I have the field allowed partner types that is, is defined on the product into Odoo. On the rest partner, you can see that I have the partner type with the shareholder role. And you can see that we also use the sale exception module to uh, ensure that the role uh, that uh, applied into the website are firstly applied into Odoo. And here you can see that uh, uh, for the uh, up, uh, uh, for the product uh, into the category, uh, uh, it's not allowed to, uh, to, to see no veterinary product for uh, a specific uh, uh, role. And that does not, but not least, uh, the last, the, 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 the snippet of uh, XML is just uh, uh, to show you how we export the, uh, the allowed partner types uh, field into the uh, search engine catalog. So, all the information comes from Odoo. That's it. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> No question. <laughs> <laughs> no time for question. <laughs> yeah. You are welcome. It's your turn. In the <laughs>